as we are, as we are healing, things in our lives will start to change. And in terms of our connections, we are going to, it's going to be very noticeable where we have uh, connections that drop off, for example, or, um, or we start to realize that we had made connections that were done out of fear or out of, uh, we believed to be the right thing, but really when we, we look into it, it's not the right thing to have that connection. Right. So part of healing is, is this concept of, you know, connections that are not actually meant to be for us, they fall away. And then the connections that are supposed to, uh, uh, be for us that we are supposed to have, they come in. So the old has to get pushed out in o- order to have uh, space for the new. And especially since this is the new year and, uh, you know, we're finalizing this week, I want you to think about how do you feel about your connections right now? And we're going to ask ourselves just a few questions. So start off, you know, on a scale of one to 10 or using the green, yellow, red, uh, grading scale, I want you to rank your connections. So how are you feeling about the connections that you have about your interpersonal relationships? And really this should go for every area of your life. You know, your friendships, your, uh, your connection with your children or your extended family or, uh, who's ever, whoever the main people are in your life. I want you just to rank grade your connections. And then the next thing I want you to do is to identify if there are people that you are, are with that you spend time with, but you feel left out or you feel as though you're misunderstood or you feel like there is some sort of disconnect in that relationship um, that doesn't leave you feeling fully seen or known by the other person. The other thing about this is that it's important to identify uh, why we may feel this way, right? We oftentimes take something very personally when it doesn't work out between another person and ourselves, whether what whatever that looks like. Like if somebody cancels their plans with you, it can often feel very much like the reason they canceled their plans is because they don't want to hang out with me. But it is important to not take it personally and to not feel isolated. Sometimes the isolation comes when we w- somebody is living in fear. Okay, either we are living in fear of being fully known, so we we keep things back. So sometimes the isolation feelings are legitimate, but they're done on our own. We are the ones who are causing it because we refuse to uh, be authentic with the other person. And maybe it's because we want to have a connection with them, but we also know that they're an unhealthy person. And in those moments where you feel isolated in that relationship, that's an indicator that that person needs to get moved into a different uh one of the different circles, right? That circle graph that we did, um, uh, it's it's showing you that they're too close. You've put them in too high of a position that they have not earned and you need to move them out of that, right? Because you should feel very connected to uh, the people who are in your, uh, in your inner circles. Another reason that we can feel isolated is because the other person uh, is living in fear right? That people can be afraid of what they don't understand. People can be afraid of, of something that's different than, than what they've experienced or what they know to be true or their norm or whatever. And same thing, same thing as the, as, as when it's us causing that isolation is to understand that, um, they get to make a choice, right? Everybody here gets to make a choice. You get to make a choice. And, if they are choosing to interpret the facts or the situation or the circumstances to be fearful of them, you know, that this causes fear that, that that's their decision. Right. And, and whether you think they don't know any better or whatever it, that is up to them. Right. It's not 
Our job now is not to take on the burden of feeling isolated, of feeling misunderstood or alone or whatever the feeling may be because of that disconnect, because somebody else is living in fear. So I just want you to identify this in the names that you wrote down. Is any of this the reason? Are any of these issues the, hitting the point of uh, of what really needs to be happening in your relationship. 